hello friends all we are going to do here is uh, to create a database uh, data source having a jndi name um, for the connectivity usually uh, those uh, data source and jndi names are used for creating um, database connectivity because uh, the java codes uh, which are used for database uh, connectivity directly from codes uh, uh, may con uh, make a cons inconsistency while uh, creating uh, a huge connection or huge uh, number of connections so we use a uh, data source and uh, those data, data source are used by jndi names <coughs> and those uh, jndi names use connection pools so if you know all these and also know the right environment then go forward and uh, be with me and if you don't know about this th then uh, i recommend to know these all things at first then you should see this video the first thing uh, which you have to do if you are uh, if you have seen earlier this uh, red environment then you would know that uh, this there is a server part in the this bottom side then um, here we go for uh, creation of jndi names and data source so right click it and start the server this might take some time one thing i want to mention it here that uh, you should uh, you would be creating uh, your uh, database earlier because uh, it's a very simple to think that if you don't have any database what you are going to connect with so if you don't have uh, created any database then uh, i'll say to create a database having a username and id uh, user id and a password uh, so that uh, th that user id and password would be given here to create a jdbc connection so our server has been started so right click it and go to administrative tool administrative console sorry so this is uh, user id this user id is not compulsory given it can be left blank it can be given any value also i am giving admin just for my convenience it can be left blank so here is uh, the interface of uh, interface of web sphere and um, the i want to mention it here that uh, we are going to do two things first thing we have we are going we will go do is uh, to go in this uh, security part and put the user id and password of your database which uh, you have created in uh, any dbms and uh, the second thing we will do is to is we will provide the resource uh, which will contain the J jndi name and uh, the data source uh, so only two things are there so first we will start from security so in security the will go with uh, global security with the global security in this right panel go with jws configuration which j2c authentication data as i have as created this bselias uh, earlier if you are new user you will uh, create new alias uh, is uh, any nickname which you will go do uh, give to this uh, part of uh, user id and password alias is just the reference name so you can give anything like uh, like i am giving giving uh, spld and user id user id is the same user id and password that you have given to your database so user and password i want to show it here one thing if 
if you are using db2 connection then uh, it would be very beneficial to you otherwise also oracle users and other users will also get benefit here's the two database this is my database fas and i have to connect if with it then we i have to give this user id and password which i have given while creation of uh, this uh, database so this user id and password which i have crea uh, given while creation of this database should be given here so i think uh, this must be this must be must be much clear now so which user id and uh, password which user and id and password uh, is uh, is being given here by so this uh, i am giving my user id so you must uh, be very careful about uh, this user id and password should be same as your database administrator database password and user id now this apply and save it i can save it so here is uh, we can see that um, it's been created now now the security part has been completed now we'll close it and go to resource part and in this resource part we will go jdbc provider jd in the jdbc provider we will create new here we will select the database database type db2 my database type is db2 there are number of databases you can select any one my database db2 and uh, because we are using jdbc connection we will choose uh, universal jdbc driver provider and then further in third we will choose pool database source which is compulsory while if you are connecting with a data source so move to next then uh, in the next wizard we will see we will proceed with the scope scope will not change leave it as it is and name would also be not changed and description no need and class path class path is the thing uh, that we have to change here class path is that part that jar file class path is the path of that jar file uh, which will contain the classes which would be responsible for the connectivity so my jar file is been placed here in c directory i will copy the address and place it here and the file name db2jcc dot jar i think i am correct db2jcc jar ok fine now rest of the things would be same it would not change then apply then save again save so you are seeing that uh, a connection has been created which contains the jar file mentions the jar file that which jar file has, uh, which has to be picked for the database connection in this providers we will uh, we was in this which we have created uh, just in this we will go data source one thing i want to mention it here is that this data source version 4 is for the earlier versions for type 1 type 2 and type 3 drivers and uh, this data source is for type 4 drivers you must search type type of drivers in uh, google so this is for type 4 drivers mostly we are we we use uh, right now type 4 drivers so we'll go for it and uh, now 
we'll create new in this new we will uh, have a name which uh, no need to change the main thing we have to change is to JNDI name JNDI name is the name of uh, uh, that uh, JNDI name which we will use in database uh, for uh, connection further and further so suppose a SAP name of JNDI name you can give anything it is uh, uh, totally user defined now scroll it down and uh, uh, we have created just this SMPL select it here then scroll down then container manager authentication contain choose the same then provide the database name my database name was FAS choose your own uh, database name local host server name is local host local host is given when uh, the server is on your same machine on your own machine you can also mention a server name if, uh, there if you are in a network and using it then apply and then save it never forget to save because it might create problem so a new a new connection with SAP has been created. Now it's uh, all over that we have created a JNDI name for our data source um, within a connection pool. Uh, we can test it connection here by checking it out. So this the test connection for the data source universal database driver on server server 1 at node amit pc node 1 was successful so if everything was correct you would also do the same and have a con successful connection now after all this i want to sh give you one more beneficial thing is the code that you will need after this connection for uh, connecting to this to this uh, database through the JNDI name. So I have prepared a model name. Sorry, a model is here. Here is the code for the connectivity. It is a simple servlet having a do get method. Do get method is by default method is called when servlet is invoked. And uh, this is the code part. Which we need. So I want uh, you to pause this screen and copy the whole code and uh, I want to mention it here that uh, only this part is necessary whenever you need the connection and you you, sh you have to just mention it there and you will get the connection or you may also make a global connection like this like this and you can get anywhere connection on your whole website one thing more this uh, the, the most important part which we have uh, uh, done earlier results in using this JNDI name which is responsible for whole connection which we have created for the database and there is nothing else more connectivity needed for this all connection with uh, database so that's all with this you can pause this screen and uh, write code and enjoy thank you very much this was um, myself Amit Giri
from Reliance Institute of Technology, Durg, India. Thank you.